process was incredible. <laughs> Sorry. The process was incredible. I mean, I had this extraordinary cast. Laura Dern, Ellen Burstyn, Jason Ritter, Elizabeth Debicki, Carmen, Isabel Melise. So, I mean, I was just really blessed to be able to bring these actors to populate my true story and to bring it to life in a way that was really real. No, I wrote a short story when I was 13 and handed it into English class, but it was really a very thinly veiled, true memoir of what really happened. And um, no one, my teacher didn't flag it, no one knew it was real. In fact, she wrote on the back, if this is true, it's a travesty, but since you're so well adjusted, it can't be true. No, I... I'm not sure I wanted it discovered. It was more from the very beginning that turning things into art was a way to process it. And in, for me, that was part of processing it. I think, quite frankly, at that age, I saw it as a relationship. And my protective self coded like it like that so that I would feel like I had agency. So it was only when I was 45 that I realized I was really ready to use the word abuse. Well, I've been making films for 35 years, so for me it's really natural. I always wanted to turn this into a film. It's really hard to say why psychologically, but for me, what I really wanted to explore was the complexity and the nuance of sexual abuse, which is so different than what you really see and hear in the media. It's always portrayed as a very black and white kind of criminal story, but in fact, from the inside of a child, um, it's very different. And it's very complex, it's very nuanced, it's very hard to extricate yourself from it. And um, you also, I mean, in terms of, like, you film this kind of team, and in terms of the Me Too movement that just transpired into that year, what was that like, just to see your, uh, I guess, to see your story now, and everyone else's story is now. Right. Well, it's pretty amazing because when we started writing this, when we started filming it, I was really scared that the world might not be ready for this film. And I didn't know if they would be able to accept just how nuanced and complex it was. But now with Harvey Weinstein, with the Me Too movement, with Time's Up, you actually see that people are actually ready now to hear this story. It's still tough because child sexual abuse is still still taboo, even within the movement. But here we are, and we're ready to embrace it. I'm from Philadelphia originally, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Well, I'm really glad that it's coming up. I hope it gets supported, and I really hope we have more of laws that protect people from pain and suffering. Yeah.